What's up guys? So today I have a new video for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Lexan Q3 speakers. These are Bluetooth waterproof speakers for your motorcycle handlebars or your four-wheeler, whatever you want to put these on. They work pretty good on a bike though, and I actually own an older version of these on my Honda 1800 that I will show you in just a minute. But I ordered these because I really wanted speakers on my Harley Davidson Road King. And these are pretty good speakers from what I understand. I like the Lexan, so I went ahead and got the newer ones. These speakers do actually have built-in orange running lights on the back of them. They do come in black or chrome, and they are pretty nice. You can even wire them into your turn signal. I don't think I'm going to be wiring them into any of my turn signal stuff because I don't feel like wiretapping, but... I'll go ahead and show you these, the one on my Honda 1800R. I kind of have this bike torn apart right now because I'm doing some work on it, but these are the speakers I have on here. They're the Lexan LXS3s. And so both of these speakers are going to be pretty much the same. These ones do have a skip back, skip forward, volume control, and then the power is right in the middle. They run off of your battery directly. So you want to make sure that you either have them turned off or you have them unplugged, one of the two. They do come with a USB, so you can plug your phone into it. And of course, a radio antenna cable. If you want to run a radio and listen to that, you can. And of course, these just hook right into a trickle charge unit. So if you've already got one, most Harleys do, you can use that or... These speakers come with cables of their own that you can wire up as well. I have both the cable for my trickle charger and then of course I have the speaker cables right there as well. So well, we'll be mounting these is on to my 2021 Harley Davidson Road King. Beautiful bike. It now has over 1300 miles on it. I'm very happy. I'll be doing a 1k review on that here pretty soon. But I'm going to go ahead and mount them right here onto my handlebars. And I'm going to tell you this. I would recommend having a windshield if you're going to run these speakers. Because unlike a Harley Davidson Street Glide or anything like that that has the big speakers built into them, they're not going to be the same quality of loudness. So just keep that in mind when you buy these. They're not going to be the same. They're nice, but once you get up to the highway speeds, you're going to want a windshield so that you can hear them better. So we're going to mount them right there. Let's go ahead and get back over to the box and we'll get them opened up and see what's inside. All right, so we're back over to the workbench now. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up for you. The box isn't anything too special like I think I said before. It just kind of shows how they are, what they look like, and of course what they can do. Like I say, these are waterproof Bluetooth speakers. Just a little pull tab right there and then they open up. This is kind of what the top of the box is looking like so far. I bought these on Amazon. They're like $150 for a set. And so they're not too bad to get a hold of. They aren't the most expensive things, but I don't know. There's more expensive ones out there, but these I think are pretty good quality. So, first thing I see is, of course, the how to use and log instructions and all that. And, of course, all your wires are going to be right here. It should have everything that you need and nothing that you don't. So, we'll go ahead and pull these out. These are kind of nice. They have a bit of weight to them. Of course, you got all your mounting stuff there. Nice heavy speakers. I'm, I'm really liking these already. And then, of course, down in here, you got all the wires and everything that you're going to need to mount these up. So, basically, this side is the one you're going to hook to your battery. And then, of course, the power cables and everything are going to be already on the speaker so zip ties that way you can mount them up and zip tie them and allen keys so that you can get them fastened down to your handlebars 
course there's nothing else in the box just except for this nice piece of foam so we'll go ahead and put that aside and we'll go ahead and get these unbagged like I say these are nice beautiful black speakers they have a lot of weight to them which makes me happy and then of course like I say on the back they are gonna have that orange light so this speaker since it doesn't have the knob it is gonna go on the right hand side of your handlebars that way you can do all the controls with your left hand because you don't want to be having to do it with your right hand since that hand is going to have to control your throttle so basically this is the one that you're going to want to have on the left hand side it's got the power button and of course the skip buttons as well and they also act as volume control too I was kind of hoping they would just have a knob that'd be a lot easier, but they don't. But that's all right. We'll get them to work. So, really, I'll pick that up and move it so you can see. So, really, that's what comes in the box. So, you got the two speakers, you've got the instruction manual, you got all your wires and everything that you need. Don't fall off, please. That's kind of my bad. Almost dropped the speaker. Then, of course, these are going to go onto your handlebars inside of the rings to clamp them down. And then, of course, your zip ties, wires, and your battery cables. So, that's what we got going right here. So, we're going to go ahead and start getting these installed. Alrighty. So, a little update on the installation progress. Got one in. So far it's looking pretty good. Had to take the shield off because shield is just in the way. But I did put it on just to make sure that I got it set exactly where I wanted to. So I don't have a tripod or anything for this. So you're just going to have to forgive me and just kind of go off of what I'm trying to say. So the thicker ones I found are better for your handlebars. And then of course if you want to mount them onto your crash guards then use the actual small little rubbers that go around on there get them as tight as you can I would even go as far and say recommending Loctite as it wouldn't be a bad idea especially on a Harley since they rattle quite a bit but I'm thinking that with the amount of rubber down in there and everything it should be okay if it falls apart I'm sure I can fix it but I don't expect it to so that's going to be one of your harder parts, is just trying to get them situated where you want them. So, I pretty much already got this one ready to go, and it's going to go right there. I already tried these out. I did plug them in to my external cable there, and I did run them. So, they work good. They sound good, which is something you should do before you put these on, is that you should actually make sure they work cops going by after someone or something so gonna go ahead and do the next cable now recommend getting yourself a screwdriver if you need it don't know if I'm gonna do anything with the purple one this is for your blinkers I'm not exactly an electrician I may try to run these into my cable but we'll see you don't have to but you can if you want but I'll go ahead and get this other one on and I will show you exactly where I put the power cables and everything most likely they're just gonna be ran up and under the tank zip tied along the frame and then of course I'm gonna take the seat off and do some stuff with my battery cables so stay tuned I've got some more coming up Alright folks, so she's all wired in. I got the battery cables and everything put back. So as you can see what I did here, I got my positive and negative, ran them up and under. And of course they come out right there. I zip tied it to the spark plug cable and I left it like this so that I could easily access this in case I ever need to unplug it for anything at all. So you could do what you want. I left it behind like that. I may take black tape and go over these wires eventually 
just so it doesn't look so strange but that's another day I'm tired and I want to go to bed and take a shower and all that so up and under the tank hopefully it doesn't do anything strange sitting under there I tried to make sure that it was not touching anything important come up here and of course you can see exactly where I tucked it in to run it through and then of course there's two zip ties there the first one holds the cable in place the next one brings up that second one and I'll cut those later I just left them so you guys could see it now the purple wire is for your blinkers I'm not gonna mess with the blinkers I don't want to mess up my wiring I'm not breaking into anything that I'm not familiar with so the rest of it I just tucked up in there and as you can see aside from this antenna cord which isn't going to be staying it looks pretty good so far that spot I might actually do up with tape because it's kind of an eyesore more than that spot is so I guess we'll go ahead and turn it on hold the power button Bluetooth mode. so it automatically starts in Bluetooth mode that ping means it's now synced to my phone I'm not gonna play any songs off my phone because I don't need a copyright strike I will do the radio though FM mode. and what you'll do is you'll double tap it to get to the radio mode hold the arrow keys for your volume so Bluetooth is blue, radio is green. Tap the power button to seek. And then of course you can also use your arrow keys to seek as well. You're going to have to forgive my area right now because we're getting a lot of crazy storms and weather. A lot of country on here. I'm trying to find some rock. That's good enough for now. It gets the point across. But here's what it looks like from the front. Looks pretty good. And I'll start the bike here in just a minute so you can see everything else. Like I say, you can reposition these any way you want. And they're decently loud. So we'll go ahead, turn on the bike. And of course, you look at it from the front, it don't look too bad. Weather Center. I'm Kalen Crowey with this severe weather update brought to you by Redbeard Garage and Towing, Roche Marketing, and Chimney Rock in Roosevelt Public Power. The National Weather Service in Cheyenne has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Cheyenne, northeastern yeah, Kimball, southeastern that's how that goes. Southeastern Banner County is you can't really go wrong with these speakers, in my opinion. They're pretty dang good. So if you guys like the video, please give it a like, comment on it if you want. Let me know what you think. But for now, I'm going to go inside, take a shower, put the bike back together, call it a day. So you guys take it easy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, guys, just real quick, I forgot to say how to turn these things off. So to turn these things off, 
all you got to do, come over with your finger, press on the power button and hold it down for a few seconds. Power off. You'll say power off, lights are going to go off, speakers are off. You don't have to worry about running your battery down. And if you are worried about running your battery down, you can just reach down where you have your wire. You can unplug them. And say, I don't know if I'll keep this this way forever, but I did this just for ease of access. So that'll officially conclude it for this video. If you guys liked the video or found it helpful, do leave me a like or subscribe, whatever you want to do. Stick around. I got more content coming. I'd like to do some more bike stuff, so keep watching. I'll be posting. So you guys have a good one. Peace out.